Hey everybody, February 7 here and welcome back to the channel where today I'll explain how you get chemistry. Uh, I don't like the fact that EA changed the chemistry style, but it's not my place to put on pause. They do whatever they want. But chemistry, now it works with little squares. As you can see, Mbappe here has three squares and that means he has his chemistry on the max. But what happens if he doesn't have any chemistry? It's zero. It's all gray. He's going to go in-game with 97 pace, 88 shooting, which it's really good for Mbappe, even in the middle of the game, I guess. But for Podence, it's going to be a problem because he's 90 pace and 65 shooting. He's going to run, but he's going to miss an open goal, definitely. You can always improve the shooting with chemistry styles. And let's say if you have Podence with a dead eye, but if he has zero chemistry, it doesn't work. Zero effect. If he has one square, it should improve like two points. If he has two squares, it's going to improve, let's say, five points. And if he has three squares, it's going to improve the 10 points, which is the maximum. I don't know the numbers, but I am assuming it's from zero to 10. They're not going to change that much. Uh, how do you get one square? Okay, when you get one square, it's basically you need to have two players from the same club, two players from the same nation, or three players from the same league. So let's say you start the game with Kovacic, Matip and Kufal. Because they're all from the same league, they will give you one chemistry and all of them. Two chemistry will receive if there are four players from the same club, five players from the same nation or region, or five players from the same league. So if let's say if you get Ericsson, Tillman, Kovacic, Matip and Kufal, you will have two chemistry, okay? In this case, you're watching and seeing Kurzlaub and Kimpembe and Mbappe. They're all, they're only three players, but they have free chemistry. And you can see it here because it's three players from PSG. It gives one point. It's three players from uh, France. It gives one point. And it's three players from the um, La, uh, Ligue 1. And it gives one point. That's how they get one point. Uh, in this case, you see uh, three squares on all the Premier League. It's because you have the eight players and it gives it three points. And that's where I want to get. How do you get three chemistry? You have seven players from the same club, club, eight players from the same nation, or eight players from the same league. So basically, we have eight players from the Prem, as you can see here, eight players, and it gives you the three uh, points. That's how it works with the chemistry. You can also do the same thing, let's say, instead of the Prem, you have Brazilian players from different leagues. That's also, so it would be this one instead of French, or here instead of English, it would be Brazilian. And if you reach, if you fill these up, you will get the three chemistry points. That's how chemistry works. Uh, my suggestion, for, for now on, I'm going to put videos daily of starter teams. And I'm just doing specific leagues and specific nations, which is easier. My suggestion for you guys would be uh, when you start the, the game, just go with one league or one nation. And then when you start to adapt to the game, you need to, uh, then you can start to do hybrid stuff. But first of all, get used to the game. That's my opinion. Anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoy the content. Please leave a like, a comment, hit the bell icon, share especially to your Fifi friends, because they will need to know how this works, okay? Please share, uh, and uh, this should be a sub button up. Oh, I messed that up. I was doing a perfect video. Sub button up there, and there should be some old video. And be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you see when my videos come up, because these next few days, a lot of Fifi information. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. 